The farmer who is here has utilized his resources very well because after producing and making sure that he has enough milk for production used in the house and even surplus at a fresher, he's been able to introduce biogas. And you know, one of the, the gases that are produced here is methane. Methane is not a very good gas. It's a contributor to the greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. But for him, he's been able to tap it and make use of it in the house. Uh, na anaweza tuambia amefanya hii ama umetumia hii biogas kwa miaka mingapi? tuseme niko na nini? Mm -hmm. e, 19 I think mm -hmm. it's in something 1969. Mm -hmm. Na uh, yeah, 2013. E, Iliweza kuwekwa in 2013. E, kwa hivyo kumaanisha for the last 10 years he's been able to utilize the biogas for his own cooking in the house mm -hmm. kwa hivyo wewe haununui gas hapana si nunui hii gas inauzwa huku wewe you are not part of it but <laughs> yeah. you've been able to tap this from your this from your cows yes. which is something that a dairy farmer or a livestock farmer can be able to uh, utilize especially if you are keeping cows you can be able to utilize this and make use of resources just within and therefore be able to save on the cost of gas And apart from saving on the cost of gas, you are able to save up our climate because methane contributes to greenhouse gas, which eventually contributes to climate change. You can show us how you have connected the biogas. Inaenda paka wapi kwa nyumba? Kwa nyumba. Na ilikuwa na inatumika kwangu ile nyumba na my son hapo anatumia hii. Ah okay. So unaweza tumia kwa umeziweka kwa nyumba mbili ata ile ingine nyumba tatu eh tatu ah okay yeah. for this unit here it's able to produce and even supply gas to three uh, households within this mm -hmm. compound mm -hmm. what a great way of making sure that ile resource tuko nayo tunaweza kuitumia na naona hata baada ya hapo unaweza kutumia the same same manure from your cows mm -hmm. umeiweka kwa chakula yako yeah. um, maybe tunaweza angalia chakula ambacho ako nacho uh -huh. and from there he's able to again utilize manure gidido kuna hii ni maya au ni dubwa gidido kuna hada nini oh huyo wa biogas eh ni hivi tukagera hadi tuwekera hadi eh no mai to kuogerera tuogerera mai hau uga ewekera hadi ya mudenya doge dira o ni bosho ko o kuma na guderera eh o ga dio guo bere di mane ko e jato do me go di kinya ruwe o re ko dire ka na gwe ka te na i i ni o ko aguri ma matuda ma ya boga ici eh o na ici le re ka te tumemtembelea mkulima mwingine katika i area bado ya gadhaidi lakini village inaitwa Motuya ambaye pia ni mkulima wa ngombe na ni mkulima mdogo atatuambia jina lake atatuambia amekuwa akifanya ukulima huu wa ngombe kwa muda gani kisha atuambie changamoto ambazo anapatana nazo na hata apart from changamoto zile mambo ameweza ku win katika ukulima wa ngombe na nini imefanya ameniambia kwamba amepunguza pia ngombe zake atueleze kwa nini amepunguza uh, ngombe zake asanti sana kwa kutukaribisha huku kwenu huku kwako utuambie jina lako utuambie umefanya ukulima kwa miaka mingapi Jina langu ni Steven Kawa Boro. Mhm. Mm Naanza kulima tu. Ah, okay. Hebu tuelezee, umetuambia umekuwa ukifanya hii kazi kutoka 2002, hiyo ni miaka 11. Miaka ya kwanza tano na miaka hii ambayo tuko. Umeona ubadiliko wote ama mabadiliko yoyote? Eh, miaka ya mbele tano ilikuwa mzuri. Eh. Kwa sababu chakula ilikuwa bei ya chini chakula ilikuwa bei ya chini ehe bei nafu kama mbisi changu tulikuwa dei na 200 okay blend na wanwe na hiyo maziwa tulikuwa tunalipa na 15 ehe sisi watu wengi wengi walikuwa wamejisha mmm walikuwa wamekutelea kwa kuku magulue hivyo hivyo sasa wakati hiyo hata kiwa maziwa tunalipa bei 
lakini sasa miaka ambayo ime, imeisha kama mitano na huu mwaka ambao tuko mm. bei ya chakula imepanda kabisa mm, kabisa kabisa ehe na unaweza sema mabadiliko hayo yameletwa na nini wewe ukiwa tu mkulima ni nini imeleta hayo mabadiliko yote ni chakula ni chakula kukosa e, ni chakula kukosa kwa sababu mm -hmm. ajani hata ukikosa kwa boma unaweza mm -hmm. kata kata nyasi kwa barabara mm -hmm. na inakosa kwa sababu ya kukosa mvua Yeah. Eh, kwa sababu kila mwaka kama mwaka huu mwezi wa tatu wa nne hakukuwa na mvua hata kidogo mm -hmm. na ikapatikana ya kwamba hata ni pia grasa madhara yenye tumepanda haipati mvua kwa hivyo haikui yeah. na inakosekana hata mapepe inatusaidia mm -hmm. hii ya mm -hmm. eh. kikosa mm -hmm. naona shida iko shida iko yeah. saa kwa we mwenyewe kuangalia tu katika changamoto ambazo unazip, unapatana nazo kila wakati unaweza sema shida kubwa iko wapi especially tunaweza sema tunapopata kiangazi na chakula inaenda inakuwa bei gali chakula ya ngombe unaweza sema ni Mungu ama ni serikali ama ni nini ambacho kinaendelea hapa sio Mungu ni serikali <laughs> <laughs> ehe kwa sababu serikali uh -huh. wako na mambo ya hizi manufacture ya chakula uh -huh. maziwa mahali wanauza ndio uh -huh. wako na shida uh -huh. sawa tutekenezea bei ya maziwa hata uh -huh. chakula ikuwe bei juu uh -huh. naona uh -huh. kombele lakini serikali ni nani kwa sababu nikiangalia hapa ile dairy tuko nayo hapa ni ya wakulima hata serikali haihusiki ni, ni yenu Unaweza sema serikali ni mimi na wewe ama serikali ni ule mtu mwingine anakuja? Ni wale wako juu ndio wanafaa matengeneze bei. Kutoka juu kufikia. Na unafikiria wanaweza tengeneza aje? Watengeneze bei kama hivyo mm -hmm. mahidi wanasema hakuna mm -hmm. zikuja kwa wiki. Mm -hmm. Atupatie begu zile mzuri mm -hmm. tupande mahidi tukue nazo. Mm -hmm kwa tunauza unaona mm -hmm. chakula itakuwa bei nafu kwa sababu maidi mm -hmm. chakula inatoka kwa maidi hiyo mm -hmm. tutapata kama ni sisi tunauza hiyo maidi mm -hmm. tunauza na bei nafu na sisi tunauza chakula na bei nafu mm -hmm. so hapo wewe sema ni Mungu <laughs> ni ukweli lakini kukiwa na kiangazi hata wao mbegu watatoa wapi unajua hata kukiwa na kiangazi tunazalima na maji kumaji ni Mungu irrigation eh sasa hapo ni serikali eh sio Mungu <laughs> Umesema vizuri kabisa na ninakubaliana na wewe kwa sababu yeah. hata serikali ilitenga pesa yeah. ili waweze kuleta dams ifanye irrigation cool. na kuna mahali wamefanya irrigation kwingine kumefail na wao tu ndo wanabaki na pesa ama wao tu ndo wanakula hizi pesa so ukisikia mkulima akisema ni muhimu sana mambo ya irrigation iletwe ama maji iletwe yeah. ili wakati kuna kuwa na kiangazi tunaweza kutumia maji hata kunyunyizia a uh, chakula chetu ama kunyunyuzia nepia grass na kuangalia hata mifugo yetu hiyo hilo ni jambo la muhimu sana kwa sababu kiangazi venye tunaendelea kiangazi ni kitu ambacho kitajirudia na kitajirudia kwa hivyo solution ni kuleta maji karibu na mkulima hebu tuelezee na uelezee vijana ambao wanakuangalia saa hii kwa sababu wewe ni kijana unaweza waambia nini kuhusu ukulima ama kufanya kazi na mikono yako kama mm -hmm. ni kulima ngombe mm -hmm. aze na kadama mm -hmm. kikua ondoe anuwe mm -hmm. kama aze na kamoli mm -hmm. kisaa safi mm -hmm. patie dume aze kuamua mm -hmm. takamua kama miezi sita mm -hmm. na haya maigia sako mm -hmm. apua kaloni mm -hmm. anuwe ingine mm -hmm. maisha yaendelee ajikuze si ndio na kuna mtu anasema ah Um, ako kandama ni kama pesa ngapi hivi unajua kuna mtu anasema hajui kama anaanza na ndama ama ni lazima aanze na ngombe hebu mwambie ni kama pesa ngapi hivi ndio aone kama za hata aza mm -hmm. na kandama ya 1000 mhm eh hata 2000 kama kamoli mm -hmm. maziwa miezi mbili mhm ikue mm -hmm. pesa nyingi maziwa hiyo pakiti ya oso inatoka 450 naona atazi mm -hmm. hapo mm -hmm. kieda uchukue mkopo mm -hmm usikie uko na mabebili mmm kuanzia maisha hapo mmm waanze kupanuka hata unaweza kilia weke kuku mmm ama waanze irrigation kulima usio mm. ti unaangalia ngombe tu mmm wewe unapata pesa pale pengine mmm najua hata kuku hakuna mahali zitakuwa kubwa mmm 
yatakuwa ma yako unauza mm. ukisota unachukua siku mm. mbili unauza hivyo mm-hmm. mm-hmm. ukisikia njaa unachukua moja unakula ndio <laughs> bwana mburu ametuelezea vizuri sana so you've had for yourself in spite of the drought that is ongoing we have opportunities that are presenting themselves just like mr mburu here who is a young man and he's able to get a livelihood out of the dairy cows that he's keeping here in gedongori gadaidi in Motuya village yeah. he's able to do all that and he's encouraging everyone maybe unaweza tuambia parting shot yako yote about ukulima kuwa kijana na kupata kitu at the end of the month unaweza tuambia aje ili tumalize show mimi mm-hmm. mimi ne, naweza sema upande wangu mimi niko poa ehe mm-hmm. kwa sababu tarehe 5 siwezi kosa pesa kwa mfuko mm-hmm. nitiza mtu 1000 mhm mwambie tarehe 5 nitakupatia mm-hmm unaweza kuhawezi uwezi kuwa mtu wa kusota sota okay umejisikia mwenyewe bwana mburu amesema hapa kwa hizi ngombe zake kila tarehe tano hakosi kitu kwa mfuko kwa hivyo kama wewe kijana na unaweza fanya kazi kama hii tafadhali anza kujifanyia kazi yako na wache kulia kusema hakuna kazi. We come to the end of our show today. We are grateful that we had such a fantastic and great information from all our experts. Remember this is the Envirocare Global Show. My name is Rose Gishure.